Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my month of empties from the month of November. Don't have a whole lot because I did my October one very late, so, but I got enough to do a video. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I will show you is my body wash that I finished, and this is from the brand Jason, and this is a moisturizing body wash, and it's in the scent Herbs. I really did like this. I like this whole brand as a whole as far as body wash because it doesn't irritate my skin. It doesn't make me feel itchy. So I will definitely repurchase it. Um, my favorite one is, of course, the rose water one, but I did like, um, like that. Then I finished up a poof. This is from Bath and Body Works. Um, I like these because they have just enough scratchiness to help with exfoliation. But unfortunately, the body shop, not the body shop, Bath and Body Works, um, changed their poofs or their loofahs. And they're really silky now and I don't like them that smooth but anyway I have some backups but once the then I have a face wash and this is from skin food and it's the rice brightening scrub foam and my husband and I both enjoyed using this it had just enough a little bit of exfoliation in it that it was enough to exfoliate but not too much that it was irritating and it was um, gentle enough that you could use every day and I would use this at night as my um, second cleanse and would definitely think about repurchasing that. The next product I have is from the um, Way Company and it was a deluxe size sample of the leave-in conditioner and I really did enjoy this. I especially liked the smell of it. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase because I have a product from Weedad that I like just as well and that one is definitely formulated for curly hair. But the smell of this though would probably make me want to buy it again. Now if I had another big deluxe size sample of this, I would definitely use that. From Glam Glow, I have one of their um, mud masks. Um, this one was the Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. It was okay. Um, I didn't use it consistently enough to know if it really worked very well and then it dried out so I wouldn't repurchase any of those um, I don't know I'm just not that I was just wasn't a big fan of the glam glow mask anyway so then I have a lip balm from Tony Moly that I finished this came in a pink soul subscription box and I would use this every morning as my um, lip treatment product for my skincare I liked it. Um, I have some other lip balms that I'm using right now, so I don't need to repurchase. The packaging is cute, but as far as like trying to carry this in your handbag, I think this would be too big and bulky, but it was cute with the little lips. From Manual Factory, I have the Rose Hip um, Face Mist that I love. This is the Rose Hip Oil Mist. Absolutely love this. I love putting this on after I've done all of my uh, makeup and it just kind of helps to settle down the powder and just really make everything look nice and fresh and dewy. Um, I can also use this as a toner or just as a hydrating mist throughout the day. This is probably my third one that I have used and I have one on my vanity right now that I'm using product from MAC. This is the brush cleanser. Um, this was okay. I like my Cinema Secret one better. This was just one that I had in my stash, pulled it out, used it so I could use it up and then I'll back to MAC this little container. But I won't repurchase that. This is a holy grail product for me and this is the Skin Musk oil that I purchased at Walgreens. I have worn this probably for the last 10 years and this is the perfume or the scent that I wear at night after I've had my bath I'll put a little dab of this on and I just love the way it makes me smell it makes my bed clothes smell my husband likes the way it smells this little bottle is usually around 10 to 15 dollars depending on where you can find it at and get the oil don't get the spray the spray doesn't smell the same you have to get the oil but I just really really do like this and will definitely be repurchasing that 
have some eye drops. These were the Rokto, Rokto Cool Roto, R-O-H-T-O. There's no K in there. Um, or is that an N? <laughs> I can't tell. Anyways, these little cooling eye drops that you put in your eyes and they really help to brighten the whites of your eyes. Um, we definitely think about repurchasing these. I have another kind that I'm using right now but I think once those are gone I'll go back to these because these were a little bit less expensive than the ones I'm using. I have a sponge from The Real Techniques. This is the sponge that I prefer to use on a daily basis to put my um, foundation on or a BB cream or any type of face color that I'm putting on and I like these a lot better than the beauty blenders and they're a lot less expensive. So this product here was a freebie um, with from Ulta is from the brand Nyako. Um, I did not care for this. This was a um, cleansing oil balm. I didn't even finish it. It was just too goopy and too thick and heavy. It didn't rinse good. It didn't emulsify. I just, I didn't like it at all. It was just too gunky. A product from um, By Terry. This was the By Terry Terribly Desensiful, dis dis oh, what is this called? Um, Densensilis Concealer. I mean, I can't even pronounce it. I didn't like it as a concealer. Um, for one, it was a little bit too dark for me. It was too, it just settled under my eyes. So I took the stopper out and used it as a foundation. I didn't even like it as a foundation, but um, that's how I finished it up. Would not repurchase that. <clears throat> <clears throat> this was a little sample pack from Shiseido. This was the um, Ultima, Ultimoon Power Infusing Concentrate. They had these little packets. Um, you're supposed to use a packet one in the morning, one in the evening. I was able to use each packet two times, so I got quite a few days um, use out of this, and I liked it so much that I was going to buy it during the VIB sale, but this is like $75, I think, $80. It's pretty pricey. So I talked myself out of it, but then I seen it at um, TJ Maxx one day for about $40. So I did purchase it. It is a booster product. You put it on after you have um, done your toning and your essence. Before you do a serum, you put this on kind of let it sink into the skin and then you continue with your skincare and it just kind of helps to just really boost and enhance um, your skincare that you're using. I personally felt like I seen a difference in my skin with using this so that's why I went ahead and purchased the full size. Anyway, I have all of these little vials that I finished up, these little spray vials and what this was was this product here from Origins, and it's the Maximizer Skin Optimizing Mask Primer. So the concept behind this is that you would um, spray this on your face, pat it in, and then you would put your mask on, whether it be a sheet mask or rinse off mask, whatever, that was supposed to help um, enhance your, your mask to make it work better. I didn't feel like um, I seen any difference between using this with any of my mask and not using it. Each one of these little tubes I was able to use three times. So three, six, nine, twelve. So I used it twelve times and I didn't I I didn't see anything. So I don't I think this is just too gimmicky. Anyway, but then you know, here comes, you know, saying that from the person that just bought, you know, the $70 Shiseido um, booster. <laughs> So um, take it with a grain of salt. I, but personally, I didn't see any difference between using this in my mask and not using it. So I, won't, I wouldn't purchase the full size of that. A deluxe size sample of the um, Clinique Mascara. This was the High Impact Mascara. It's okay. It's not a bad mascara, but there's just so many other mascaras out there that I just think are better, but if you're wanting to use just strictly Clinique, then this would be the mascara to use. Here's another one of those little mask primer um, vials that I had. 
Then the last things that I have to show you are some perfume vials that I use up some little deluxe size samples. Um, one was the um, Byredo Mojave Ghost. Got to try that. Um, I didn't really care for it. The scent was okay. The, the problem that I had with this issue was just the longevity of it. And for the price of this, you know, this stuff should last all day long and it just didn't. So definitely wouldn't purchase that. And then from Re Replica, I have the flower market. Um, <clears throat> again, I just didn't really care for it. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting a frog. Um, I didn't feel like the longevity of this was that good, especially for the price of what the Replica um, fragrances are. Now the one that's Jazz Club, I really, really like that one, but this one I didn't really care for. And then I have one that is my all-time favorite, the Elizabeth and James um, Nirvana Bourbon. Love, love, love this scent. I have the full size of it. Wear it just about on a daily basis. And every time I wear it, I always get some kind of compliment on how good I smell. And a lot of times it's at the end of the day. So it definitely has some longevity to it. So if you haven't smelt it and you kind of like a boozy sm um, smell to your fragrance, you would probably like that. <coughs> Which one is this? And then the last one I have is from Prada and this was the Mimosa. I didn't really care for it, and I really thought that I would because I like the smell of mimosa, but I don't know. There was just something about it. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know if it had too much of a spice to it and not enough floral. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been that long since I've used it that I don't remember too much about it, but I just know <clears throat> that I tossed it into my empties and forgot about it. There's not even any in here that I can smell. Anyway. I didn't like it. I can't tell you why I didn't like it, but I didn't like it. So anyway, that is it for my empties. Thank goodness, because my voice is about gone. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.